What's up, what's up? This is Scott Tarsi from caddesignhelp.com. I'm going to put together a little YouTube video here showing how to make a complicated loft in SolidWorks. I've got the part here. This is a metal, metal conduit holder. So if you have a high-rise building and you need to hold up the... It's like a piping system that goes through the concrete that the uh, electrical wires are put in. Anyways, I needed to model this part. And so this area down here, where I have my fingers, this is... Uh, the area that I'm going to show you how to do. All right, here we go. So the first thing I did was I created the profile and extruded down the length of the part. A little trick with this is to open up a sketch and I actually took a picture of that metal conduit holder and I brought it in as you can see here. And what I did is once I had the picture in, I resized it to a dimension. So I took out my calipers and I created this 0.82 inches dimension. I measured across the metal and then resized the picture based on that. And then from there, I traced the profile of it. I didn't fully constrain these lines as I just wanted to get it pretty close. And I used my calipers to verify some of the other dimensions and everything was pretty much right on. So that's how I got the profile of it. Then I extruded it the length. Let me hide this sketch. Then I extruded the length required. So now I've got the full length of the part here. Added a few small features like I chamfered the end, added these holes. That's pretty simple. Let's go down the tree a little further. Right, here's where it gets interesting. So to create that feature at the bottom that I showed on the part, the way I did this was with the loft. And I'll show you why I did half of it. So I'll suppress the feature. And I'll show all these sketches here. So what I did was I measured the bottom of it down here where it, where it gets flat. And I'll jump back and I'll show you where that is. So let me jump back at this point and show you the part again. Hold it up to my camera. So you can see I've got the full length of that flat area. And then it comes down. So I had it mo modeled up to, I'm trying to turn this thing, right here. And then the next part I put the, was the profile down here at this bottom flat part, right here. going up like that. That's the areas I connected. It is. And I used one half of it. Well, actually, what I had done before that was I used the full bottom, but then I cut it. Then I just used the one half of it. Um, and then I've used half the profile up here for the other part of the loft. What I needed now are guide curves. And this one here was the tricky one. And the way I did it was I knew that it needed to start off tangent. So I used, the, I used the 3D sketch here. And I know that it needed to start off tangent here to this line and stay out there. I know that it needed to be tangent to the distance from this back face over. That's what this line is. And then I also knew that the curve needed to be tangent to the edge up here. And then what I did was I connected this line, this line, and then I put one more in here tangent to each of them so that they could connect. If I try to connect this point to this point, it would fail. So I put in one more tangent curve. So that gave me the curve that I wanted there. And I used this kind of, I call scaffolding here, of construction lines to get it. So obviously this curve tangent to the edge, I needed it to come back to this curve, which was down here, which was tangent to the line right there, and then this one to connect it. Then in the middle, I put two guide curves, one from the front to the top of it, and then one from the bottom to the back of it. And what's good about doing in one half like this is I didn't have to go and recreate this complicated guide curve. There's no way to mirror this about the center plane. 
So the easiest way is to create a body like this and then mirror the body. So if I unsuppress it, you can see it here. I'll go ahead and show you how it was built. So that, as I was saying, there's my sketch at the top, my sketch at the bottom, and then these guide curves here. Okay, so we've got that covered. Then I simply mirrored the body across the center plane. And then finally, combine the three bodies together. And there you go. The final step is to simply extend out the bottom here, the bottom flat spot. And that's what this last feature is. So I simply just copied the entities of that face and just extruded it out. And now you can see we have our full conduit part completed. Hope this video is helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can reach me via email, info at caddesignhelp.com. And please check out my website, caddesignhelp.com. Thanks.